the well-known English essayist John Cooper Porus will publish in the USA in 1928, The Art of Forgotten Pleasure. It is an important pamphlet above all is the expression of a philosophy of doing good in the communication of the individual with the elementary universe. Porus himself becomes the advocate of, of his essays with a wide orchestral range. Apology of Sensuality, for a Lonely Philosopher, The Art of Kindness, where the key chapter of these essays published in different years is the reference of the general title. Who is the secret of the art of living? For Porus the life we live it is nothing but a series of subjectivities. On the other hand, the universe is filled with horrors and pain, but also with beauty and security. We try to penetrate this subjective vision where the contrast with pain makes us intolerant, he continues. We live to forget and we forget to live, to evoke forgetfulness porous refers to the beautiful parts of the figures of Greek mythology. Forget what? Everyone is afraid. Porus never talks about anxiety, but he points out that in our plexus we all have fear and this fear is reflected in our eyes, in our way of petting. And in the end he comes to the conclusion that the fear is us. Fear is the metaphysical possibility of the dominant emotions of all our hearts, but the last emotion of human hearts. To forget fear, we must possess two weapons. First of all, love and getting rid of the monotony of being busy at work. The Art of Kindness was published in 1935 and is considered one of Poi's most important essays under the title, A Little Machiavellian Manual for All Those Who Want to Be Happy. In the first chapter, The Problem of Rasen, he hypothesizes that a person should control his thoughts, which he assumes, among other things, and the exercises of the will. Because the regulation of thoughts is, after him, the essence of art. In the art of kindness, it is not understood neither pleasure nor the ideal dream, but as Wordsworth says, Life has pleasure within itself. Demons are numbered in three, stress, apathy, preoccupation. In the other part, consciousness speaks, he poses the problems of evil. According to Poi, evil is neither ethical nor metaphysical, but only by seeking to be happy can you contribute to the creation of the world and oppose destructive forces. Our great obligation is according to his integration of our mental life, this will be an ungodly act. But there is also a spirit of the cosmos and porous refers to the sensitivity of the earth, fire, healing water and wind, after all they are Homer's measurements. <laughs>